anchors up, sells at full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? Doing all right. It's a new tradition. It's a good tradition. There we go. Kyle, we have a lot to get to today. <laughs> yes. Rushing through the yes. beginning, but that's because, like I said, we have a lot to do today. Kyle, what we're doing today is... Can't wait to see if Matthew Baldwin drafted Wednesday <laughs> all night draft. Ha ha. Puns. Puns are fun. Um, Kyle, we are drafting against each other. Kyle, we have a lot to do today. Jared, almost every recording. Well, that's because we do. Trying to get snappy, trying to get right to the content, trying not to waste time up front like I'm doing right now. What we're doing today is drafting. A from a pool of players that have all played for Ryan Day as a head coach. Yes, we're projecting forward a bit and including players who are currently on this squad who maybe have technically only played a spring game or a spring camp under Ryan Day. So, OK, stretching a little bit. And what was our other rule, Kyle? Oh, if the players played the position, then you can draft them at that position. So if someone has played both guard and tackle, if someone who's played both wide receiver and running back, if someone has played both running back and linebacker, whatever. So we're, do so we're, so we're doing the same rule where we have, we have a list of players that, that we have on mind that you can't pick. Oh, were we were we doing reserve? I didn't do. I didn't. I didn't no, pick reserves. No. no, no okay. No. <laughs> okay. No. I did not have reserves in place. No, I did not. Yeah. All right. Let's let's jump into. Well, I guess the the important question is who gets to go first. Uh, Are we, we can, getting the heads or tails again? Yeah, we, we can do the heads or tails. We can do heads or tails. See, I'd I'd ask one of the people in the chat to help us, but they would just cheat for you. All right. Well, I have being the, honest. I just Google. I just Google heads or tails here, and it has a flip a coin. You tell uh -huh. me what you want, Jared, and I will click the button. I will take heads. Click and what did you say? I said heads. It is tails. Okay. Kyle gets the pick first. I um, get to pick first, and let me let me pull up my sheet. My my sheet here, my my very first pick. I'm going left tackle. I'm going to secure my left tackle right away, Jared. Mm-hmm. And, and I am going to pick um, PJJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, a very good first player off the board, in my opinion. I, I agree. Um, I'm going to make sure you don't totally screw me at the offensive line position. Uh, mm. I will return in, in kind and take Nicholas Petit Ferry. <laughs> All right. So we're getting, we're getting good feedback. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Oh, Austin said I fucked up. <laughs> I'm going I'm actually going to, I'm going to stay on the offensive line here mm -hmm, mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. my left guard. Okay. For my left guard, I'm going Dewan Jones. Uh, not a not a bad pick. Um, I mean, you're going. I mean, he's very clearly a tackle, but I believe he did he, play he, guard he did, at one he, point. He did. He does play. He he did play left guard for a year. Or so under. Yeah, yeah. Under Ryan Day. Yeah, no, it's just. It's interesting to pull from the tackle pull, which is thinner and immediately make him a guard is, I guess, my my confusion with that. Um, so, yeah, I think we're running out of tackles. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Thayer Munford. <laughs> That's a good pick. That was, that was, that was the other one I was looking at here. 
I mean, he either needed to take Thayer there or he needed to take Dwan as a tackle, which I so guess I'm 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 going to I'm going to take Myers. I'll take Myers as my center. Josh Myers at center. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's Justin Fry in the house with you. Just clap, clap once for yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take Wyatt Davis. <laughs> there you go. At guard. <clears throat> you can tell where Ohio State's the thinnest, Dang. and we yeah. know it. <laughs> <laughs> well, for my other guard, other guard, I'm gonna take Jonah Jackson. It's a good pick. It's a good pick. I think you guys can realize like what the <laughs> what the need was the limited pool. Yes. Yeah. We none of us is, no one's taken a receiver yet, and we all know why. Um <laughs> this might be a crazy pick. I'm going CJ Stroud. All right, that's fine. Um question. Was Wyatt Davis a day guy man of mold? I think he committed to Herbs. Yeah, he did commit to Urban, but uh, p- did play for one season. He, he played in 2019. I will say uh, uh, the difference, between, uh, he says, not a bad choice, but the between CJ and Justin isn't that huge. Well, I will point out that like when we did the spring game draft a couple episodes ago, we each have four open offensive positions. So if Kyle dilly dallies and doesn't take Justin Fields, I will screw him over and take fields. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. As Austin says, hey, Kyle, you might want to take fields now before Jared screws you. Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah, just give me fields. Yeah. Okay. Just give me fields. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to take a quick peek over at the defensive side and grab Chase Young. One wild card slot allotted for Demario mm-hmm. McCall. I don't even think I included Demario McCall on the board. Which Question: Can you can you go back to the offensive line? Absolutely. Even though I picked him, can I can I can I move? Can Jordan I move Jones, John Jones over? I'm I'm, yep. I'm not going to stop you. And I'll go I'll go ahead and uh, plug in. <sighs> yeah, Matthew Jones. Yep. Yeah, I think that's a good pick. Take a peek back over to the defensive side. And I'm going to go. Tell you what, Jared, I'm really happy with my offensive line here as you're as you're thinking of your next pick here, because for my starting five, I got four of the five there. So I'm really happy with my offensive line. It's good. It's good. Uh, I'm going to go on the defensive side. Uh, with, I'm going to go, ooh, I have a couple of different places I can go here. I'm going to go Caleb Downs. Okay. All right. Let's swap back over to the offense here, Jared. Kyle's going all offense. <clears throat> Give me J.K. Dobbins. I like the J.K. Dobbins pick. I like the J.K. Dobbins pick. I'm going to. I think I'm going to keep filling out my defense, though. And go with Jordan Fuller. Who is the only safety thus far who's played under Ryan Day to be drafted? Yeah, very true. Very true. I'm going to go 
Can you back, go back to the offense real quick? I got a I got a wow out of Austin for that one. Austin, <laughs> look who's yeah. left at it safety. That that was a defensive pick in more ways than one. Look who's left at safety. Yeah. Oh. I'm just doing it for the lows. I'm going to take number 32. Trey? I'm going to take Trey. That's our first That's our first wild card. Kyle has uh taken the first open spot. He's going to try and screw me at running back. I feel good about the guys I still have available. I'm not worried about it. Um, but in case he decides to keep going after me, I'm going to go ahead and grab Judkins just in All case right. he decides to go full fledged after me would have taken All ransom right, well, or fuller cool. over downs for now. Uh, you know, it's a bit of a prospect pick, but you know, considering mm-hmm. what he did at Bama last year. So I'm, I'm going I'm going the same vibe that the NFL draft was. I'm going all offense. I'm finally going to the defense side now, Jared. Okay. Arguably one of the best corners. I mean, I also got that day has so that day has coached. That day has coached. Jeff Akuda. Yeah. I like Jeffrey Akuda. My only thing about taking Jeffrey Akuda at this point, it's a bit like taking a wide receiver at this point because it's, it is crazy deep. It is crazy, crazy deep. Um, I'm going to sure up the middle of the defense and grab Mike Hall at defensive tackle. We're only required to take one defensive tackle. Mm-hmm. Because well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sh- because we have five open spots, I just I need to explain this stuff for the people who are just listening. Because we okay. actually have five open spots on the defense, we're a little more flexible as far as who we consider our defensive players to be. Okay, well, I'm going to share up my my one two corners. I'm going to take Denzel Burke as my other corner. Okay. It's a good pick. I screwed Kyle over at safety, so now he's going to try and <laughs> grab some of the corners. Um, I'm going to grab Damon Arnett. Okay. Just in case and he decides to keep going at the corners. <laughs> um, I agree, by the way, Austin. I think I think I'll those take, are the two best corners. I'll go and take uh, Proctor. I'll take Proctor for one of my safeties. Okay. Arnett. Yeah, dude, don't forget. I get that Arnett didn't work out in the NFL, but remember who he was. Yeah. As a college player, because that's what we're picking here. Uh, I'm going to grab Igben Nosen as another corner. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, that's a good one. Oh. <sighs> You know, he's he's played a little bit of different things here, but I think just to share up my safeties, I'll, I'll take I'll take Ransom. I'll take Ransom for the other safety. I originally had him on my mock here as my nickelback, yeah. but since you've doubled down on the safeties, I, I'll put Ransom in, in a safety position. Okay. Um, we've up and picked over the defensive backs pretty hard. I'm going to grab... <laughs> a nickel uh, and grab Jordan Hancock. Okay. All right. Which is uh, one of, uh, which is one of my five open defensive spots. Listen, Sean Wade, and it may have been due to injury, but he, he played on a bad defense and he played injured all that year, but you, he did not perform well late in his career. Yeah. I- injury times comes. I get it. But the reality is, is that he didn't perform well late in his career. And I, and I, I don't put that all on him, but it's there. All right. He's the best nickel in Ohio state history. I said what I said. 
Uh, no, the the best nickel in Ohio State history is the guy who played nickel last year and will play nickel this year. All right, I'm going to stay defense here. I'm going defense heavy. I'm going to stay defense here. Give me number 2-0 in the linebackers. Number Mr. Pete Werner. That's a, that's a good pick. I like that pick. I, I was struggling as to who my first linebacker would be off the board, and I don't disagree with that pick. Yeah, he has been a stud in the NFL. He has been, and he wasn't great in college, but I, I put that more mm -hmm. on the defense than I was on him. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab Sonny Styles out of the linebacker group. All right. My other my other linebacker, I'm just going to shear up here just to have my two linebackers. I'm going with Baron Browning as my second linebacker. Another good pick. I'm going to grab as my next pick, Jack Sawyer. All right. Well, I better I better take uh, two of them out then for my one of my defense events there. Probably a good <laughs> I can't call. let you have I have all three of those. Probably a good call. <laughs> uh, I do absolutely want to have. Wanna, I uh, let me let me let me see if I'm neglecting the offensive side too much. Let me put an eye back over here real quick. Um, I'm going to grab. I'm going to. Um, huh. I'm not sure where I want to go with this next pick. Because I want to go everywhere with this next pick. <laughs> I want to go everywhere. Um. I'm going to go Tommy Eichenberg. Tommy Pickles. And that all right. is all of my <laughs> locked in position coach or positions on the defense. As of right, right now, I have four open spots on my defense left. I have uh, 10 players picked currently. All right. On defense. Let's go to the offense. Let's go to the offense here, Jared. <clears throat> Jared's draft specifically targeted to trigger Austin. <laughs> oh, God. Give me Jeremy Ruckert. It, it, see, I almost went tight end. <laughs> Give me my, Jeremy but, Ruckert for my but, tight end. But my thought was I'm happy with Ruckert or Stover. <laughs> so I was just going to let you do that. Oh, Austin. But since you did that, I'm going to grab Cade Stover. Because mm -hmm. I definitely wanted one of those two guys. All right. All right. Let's go back defense here. I will pick. I'll pick Ty Hamilton as my defensive tackle. This is a good pick. Good pick. Good pick. Good pick. That's your first defensive tackle. Mm -hmm. Um. Wanting to, I'm probably going to go ahead and grab my second defensive tackle at this point as well and grab Haskell Garrett. That's probably my starting 11 right there. Chase Young, mm -hmm. Jack Sawyer, Michael Hall, Sonny Styles, Tommy Eichenberg, Haskell Garrett, Damon Arnett, David Igbenosin, Caleb Downs, Jordan Fuller, Jordan Hancock. <laughs> Haskell Garrett is your first good pick in like five rounds. I'm sorry. Did you not like the Cade Stover pick? Uh, all right. I'm going to share my other defensive end here and I'll go with Zach Harrison. He should have played linebacker for Ohio State, but that's a different story. Yep. I'm going to hop back over to the offensive side. Someone's going to have to 
do this first. I guess it's going to have to be me. Do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to pick Luke Whippler at corner or for at center. Oh, OK. That's not what you're doing. <laughs> I know I, that Kyle, that was called a trick. All right. Well, I'm not tricking. I'm not going to trick. I Give me give me Marvin Harrison Jr. as my my one receiver, my first receiver. All right. I guess I will do the same and grab Chris Alave. All right. And I, I would take uh, JSN as my second. And I will take Garrett Wilson. All right. And I will take Abuka. And I will take KJ Hill. You know what? Screw it. I'll take JJ Smith then. <laughs> <laughs> and there go all the wide receivers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to grab a guard. I'm going to grab Donovan Jackson. <laughs> and uh, Kyle and I, uh, after that run, uh, Kyle has his, is in one way or another, have his, <laughs> has his starting. Actually, probably going to be an extra wide receiver on the field. Uh, but Kyle has uh, all but one of his offensive slots, including, uh, I mean, he has his three open slots tied up with uh, Henderson, Smith, and Abuka. He has one uh, wild card left open on the offensive side. I still have three wild cards open on the offensive side. You do. Um, is Kyle throwing this draft? Surely not. We. Austin is just hating on both of us at this point. I know I was I was torn between Wilson and JSN, but I had JSN just a tad bit higher on my list than Wilson. But that's just that's just me. I I don't hate that pick. Uncomfortably asks if Harry Miller is draft eligible here. Yeah, he's he's on the board. Uh, actually, almost took him instead of Whipler. Mm-hmm. All right, your pick, Jared. After this, after this quick break here, we will we'll take a quick ad break here and uh, get back to finishing our our draft here. Kind of go over our team here and see see in our listeners here which which team everybody likes the best. So we'll take a quick ad break and be right back. Kyle, everyone in the chat is saying that you absolutely washed me during the spring game draft, and. I feel like I feel like everyone at the time thought it was really close and now the the narrative has gained momentum that yours we were being nice. Okay. <laughs> All right, who you got next, Jared? How do you predict a spring game? See, that's the thing. It's just for fun. And also, I wasn't trying to predict anything. I was just trying to put together the best team. You can't predict the spring game. The, some of the best wide receivers on the field were walk-ons <laughs> during mm-hmm. the actual spring game. All right. Um, I'm going to take a look at the what, who's left. and uh, I'm just going to go who I think is probably the best guy on the board currently on the defensive side and grab Sean. Wade. Ah, that, that's that's who I was going to pick there. OK, I was going to pick Sean Wade as. One of my like nickel or well, third corners or whatever. Yeah. And, and partially motivated there was the fact that you. You know, you filled in all of your required spots on defense, but. Yeah. You've so then my ne- my next pick, I'm gonna I'm gonna fill in another defensive tackle, and I will pick Tommy. I'll pick Tommy as my Tommy second Togiai. defensive tackle. Mm-hmm. Tommy Toshi. Um, let's see. I think yeah, I'm underrated gonna... Buckeye. Yeah, I agree. Absolutely. Fourth rounder. Fourth rounder picked by the Browns. I'm going to grab Ronnie Hickman. (coughs) 
Do we get two? So how many picks do we have left? Uh, you still you have, quite have a few on the offense. You have four open spots left on the defense. I have one open spot left on the defense. Mm -hmm. You have one open spot left on the offense, and I have three open spots left on the offense. Hmm. Good question. I think I will take. Yeah, let's go back on the defense. I think on the defense here, I will. I'll go ahead and pick um, seven banks. I'll pick seven banks. Seven banks. Just put the other defensive backs for shits and giggles. Um, I know I already have two defensive tackles. I'm going to grab Tyleek and finish out my defensive squad. Okay. And I will pick one more defensive back and I'll pick Matthews. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. Your pick, Jared. Shatters. <laughs> My pick. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna. I want to. I want to make sure I have a second running back. I'm gonna grab Trey Sermon. I know he was only here for a year, but holy crap, what a year! All right, let's go back to the defense side, and I'll, I'm going to pick another another player on the defensive line there to kind of help rotate with my defensive ends here. And you're going to go to the defense side there, Jared. I'll, I will take a. I think I'll take a Jean Baptiste as another defensive end here. Monte Jean Baptiste actually got drafted uh, as well this weekend. Obviously, left Ohio State before graduating, but mm -hmm. talented I liked him. player nonetheless. nonetheless. Yeah, there's just too many I liked defense fans. Yeah. Austin's mad that you didn't take <laughs> Jonathan Cooper. Hush, hush, hush. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm done on defense. Kyle has one spot left on defense. I have mm -hmm. two open spots on offense. Kyle has one open spot left on offense. Um, I'm going to pick Harry Miller. I want an I want a backup interior guy. I'm gonna grab Harry Miller. All right. I also just like Harry Miller. That that was a bit of a heart pick. I'm gonna I'm going to acknowledge as that was a bit of a heart pick. All right, can we go back to the um, defense? You have one spot left open. Did you go when twice? Sean? Because I, I should. Did you go twice? I had um, I should have. I should have. No, you have two spot. You have two. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I went. I went first. Huh. Huh. How did that happen? All right. Well, I'm going to. I'll stay on the offense side here. I'll go with the I'll go with the um I'll go with the bruiser. I'll take Mayan Williams. Mayan Williams, last I checked, which granted it was a few hours ago, uh had yet to sign with anyone after the draft. Um not sure what that's about because he's surely skilled enough to be on mm -hmm. a practice squad. 
Uh, like it's not even close. Of course he is much, much, much worse running backs have signed on to NFL teams after the draft. So I'm not exactly sure what's happening there. I hope, uh, I would assume it's his choice and I, but I don't know the, um, reasoning behind that at this time. Um, but I hope, uh, I hope he, I hope he has a strategy in place and hope he's following that strategy. Yep. Um, all right. Last pick, Jared. Last pick for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab. Uh, I already have a backup wide receiver. I have a backup offensive lineman. I have a backup running back. Uh, it only makes sense to back to grab a backup tight end, I suppose, and grab G Scott Jr. All right, and defense, Jared. One, and on the very last pick of the draft. You know, because I, I like him, and he was he was a fan favorite. Give me Jonathan Cooper. Is that is did, did the chat shame you into Jonathan Cooper? Be honest. Mm, no. No, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I was too busy looking up the board. Okay. All right, Kyle. Uh, we each drafted, what is this? 14 players um, on each side of the, on each side of the ball. What's your formation? Who's your, who's your starting squad? Oh, <clears throat> I would go with a, I would go with a four, two. I would go with a four, two. I'd have, I'd have JT and Todd. Uh, I'm sorry, JT and Zach. On my outside, and then Ty and Tommy inside. Tommy Tojiai, that is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I I, I have Eichenberg. <laughs> yes, you're. That's right. There are two Tommies. Yes. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you have to specify. Um. And then I would go. I would go, Kuda Burke as my two corners. Mm -hmm. Um. Honestly, honestly, I might go with um, with like um, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm going to do like a like a another like Nickelback sort of. Okay. Um, is that right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. So Proctor Ransom and put um. Banks and Matthews kind of just swap swap between the two there. Okay. Um, I think I'm going. I'm also going four two. Uh, Chase Young, Jack Sawyer at the ends, uh, Michael Hall, and Haskell Garrett. Although Ty Leak is definitely subbing in a lot at, um, at defensive tackle. Uh, Sonny Styles, Tommy Eichenberg at my linebackers, uh, corners, Damon Arnett, David Igbenosin, safety, uh, Caleb Downs and Jordan Fuller. Um, and let's see. Yeah. And then I need a defensive back, which my primary, uh, nickel will still be Jordan Hancock. I will tell you, Jared, my, I'm sorry, my Austin, you said Kyle has a better back seven. Excuse me. My, rece my receivers will destroy your your secondary. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I I don't know what you guys are talking about. Kyle has a slight edge at corner, but I have a slight devastating. I have a what? devastating edge at safety. Are you? Are you? Serious, Jared? Slight on it and Igbenosin as your starters. Yeah. And mine is Akuda, a what, what was he drafted? Definitely he was first round. We're at I'm sorry. How, how high da how high was Damon he? Arnett third, was like third, third overall. And, and then Burke, and David Arnett Burke was the was be a something top like 10, the 11th overall. Top 10. I'm sorry, where 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 was Damon Arnett drafted? Um Below Akuda, but where? <laughs> but where? 
Um, look it up. Let me look. Yeah, 19th. He was 19th. Top 20. But I'm so, sorry. Burke, well, I, Burke's going to be a top you're, 10. You're letting Burke, the... Burke you're letting is going the to be a NFL. top 10 pick. You're letting We're going to the, have two top 10 corners on my defense. No one picked Cam Martinez. Gonna let that just sit there. Um, nah, my 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 safeties are cooking your safeties, a hundred percent. Not to mention, I have a better fifth defensive back and a better sixth defensive back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you definitely you definitely better on the safety. Your two say- starting safeties are better. I acknowledge this. You got the two best safeties on the board. I acknowledge this, but I have better depth at safety and I absolutely cook you in the safeties. I, I have better depth at I have better overall depth at defensive back and my safeties cook your safeties just as bad as your corners cook my corners. Mm-hmm. I have a much better nickel. I have Chase Young. Well, so well, I, well, Kyle's getting no pass rush. Dude, I got the two best pass rushers on the board. I got. I think. I think a lot. I think a lot. I think I a have, lot of people really forget how how good Zach Harrison really was in in college. Zach Harrison was pretty good. Mm. Uh, at at pass disruption specifically because like he's kind of a run stopper more than (laughs) he was good at almost getting the sack. Yeah. That, that, that was the joke in the discord. He was very good at almost getting a sack. Um, no, Kyle, Whatever advantage you might have in the corners, which you do, you have the better corners. I have the better safeties, the better. I have better, I have better safeties. I have a better nickel. I have better overall depth at defensive back. And my pass rush blows your pass rush so far out of the water that you can have the better corners. Okay. Because not only do I have the two best pass rushers on the board in Chase Young and Jack Sawyer, but Michael Hall Jr. was good is good at getting at the quarterback. Ty Leak's good at getting to the quarterback. Haskell wasn't bad for a defensive pa- uh, defensive tackle getting at the corner, but does Kyle well, well, have here, Paris a, Johnson? Yes, he does. Yeah. Well, here here's the thing. Like looking at the linebackers, Pete Werner can essentially kind of be a. He's not a nickel, but he can he can go all over the field too. He's, he's, he's a, a good really, pass. He's a good pass really defending good linebacker. Line, really good linebacker there. He is, and you're gonna have a better run defense too. Like I feel like your defense is, uh, in many ways, at least through the front seven, a better run stopping defense than my defense. But also, it's Chase Young. Okay. But I got I got Paris Johnson though. <laughs> I'll put I'll put Chase on the other Chase side versus Paris Johnson. Who who's, who wins that, guys? Is it Young or Paris or it's Young or um, dude? Not a Johnson. soul could even think about blocking Chase Young his junior year in college. Let me see if I can find it. And uh, also, I can yeah. just put him on the other side of the field. Like, I'll just let Sawyer occupy, occupy him, and then I'll I'll absolutely Dwan. I love Dwan, but he's not fast enough to touch Chase. He's simply not fast enough. Chase will just run around him. Uh, I don't think Jonathan and, and Hank, almost, I think and I think Hankins was gone before Day took over. In almost 800 snaps, in almost 800 snaps, Paris Johnson has 
allowed two sacks. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so, so I you, like ne- so you, so you, no, but you're neutralizing Jack Sawyer. I can just put Chase Young on the other side. All right. If Jared got, brings got, his safeties got, into the box, okay. you take advantage of the corners. That's, so, so that's fine. So that's fine. I got Paris Johnson left tackle. Not worried that side. All right, you move. You move Chase Young to the right side. Uh-huh. I'll just I'll just motion I'll just motion Jeremy Ruckert on over and just neutralize that side. I'm sorry. Did you just suggest you're going to neutralize mm-hmm. Chase Young? Yeah. When you're double teaming him, yeah. You you will have achieved something that nobody nobody in college football achieved during Chase Young's junior year in neutralizing him. So I'm really glad that you feel good that you think you did that. <laughs> but nobody did that. All I watched right. he beat um, triple so, teams that year, Kyle. So the I think quarterbacks, I think quarterbacks we I uh, I'll, I'll admit like it's neutral. In all I have I, mean, I have a slight edge. I'll take CJ Stroud over Justin Fields. Uh, I, it's not I by think, a lot. Field, it's not I by a field, lot. Fields can extend extend the ball, can extend the play more than CJ did in college. I think that was a choice, not a, not a not well, a CJ Stroud choice. Well, from what we've seen, <laughs> but it's it's a but slight yeah. edge. But I'm giving myself the edge. Justin is a better runner. You have to admit that. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. Running, running back. CJ Stroud's running backs, a more got... efficient quarterback. That's what I wanted. I wanted someone to throw the football. I got I got the better running backs there. My my two JK and um yeah, and Trey. You, yeah, absolutely. You you picked the best two running backs off the board. Overall, yeah, I like, like your the... overall I like your offense more than my offense. I will acknowledge that. Um you have Marvin better Anderson, JSN and Emeka. It's my as my starting three wide receivers. Yeah, I, I mean, absolutely excellent core of wide receivers. But I don't is the drop is my is there any drop off to Alave Wilson and KJ Hill? Minuscule potentially a very minuscule drop off. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I mean, Olave and Wilson, yes, solid to maybe a maybe a drop to KJ Hill, but uh, very, very solid. Very solid. Yeah, and like you got the best I who is you got the guy who is you got the very obvious best offensive lineman available. You ask anyone who the best offensive lineman is in Ohio State during this time period, they will rightfully say Paris Johnson Jr. That was mm-hmm. your 1-1. One, one. That was the right call. Um, you have a slight edge, in my opinion, at the tackle position, I like my interior more than I like your interior. I I like my trio of Wyatt Davis, John uh, Donovan Jackson, and Luke Whipler over Matthew Jones, Jonah Jackson, and Josh Myers. I will take my in. I'll take my. I think I have the better interior, but I think you have the better tackles. But I think more importantly, I have. I have on my team the fan favorite. I have the fan favorite on my offense here. I'm sorry, but I have Harry Miller. That's Jeremy the, Ruckert. No, I, I have. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did Jeremy Ruckert deliver us the year of the tight end? No, he didn't. Cade Stover did. Cade Stover delivered us the year of the tight end. I didn't take a tight end because I was, I thought it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, w- I would run, I would. Yeah, I would run the ball a lot. Yes. E- even, even with, with, with what I have on my offensive line and 
Yeah, I would run the ball a lot. JK and, and Trey there. Try it. Yeah. Try it. I don't think your interior is all that good. Who said anything about interior? Uh, if you're trying to run the ball, you need a good <laughs> interior crew. I have the better interior crew. Jared, what the fuck did you drink? Uh, masthead brewing, hazy headlines. Listen, I'm trying to I'm trying to sell my team here. Well, and more more important, who, who do you have? Who do you have as your linebackers? Who's your linebackers? And who's who's going to be covering Jeremy Ruckert on a on a play action going to Ruckert? Sunny Styles. Next. Hmm. Don't don't. Don't. <laughs> you know what, Kyle? Don't. Don't even try it. Listen, if you were, listen we, we each got one. If you look at the linebackers, especially the starting two linebackers, we both got an athletic guy and a run stopping guy. Like our, our linebackers are pretty even. You got Pete Warner. I got Sonny Styles as a more athletic linebackers. We each got our run stopping linebackers and Baron Browning and Tommy Eichenberg. I feel like we're very even in the linebacker room. Um, Kyle, we're late on an ad break. So as much as I want to uh, keep arguing about this, we need to jump to an ad. Um, you can avoid these ads by becoming a patron at patreon.thesloopcast.com. $3 a month, $32 a year. You can avoid these ads and join all of these heckling hooligan hyenas down here in the live chat that you can see uh, on our screen. So uh, we're going to go to a quick ad break and we'll be right back. And we're back. Um, we ran at the, I think you guys are just off on your own thing. Listen, I, I'm not saying, I think if our teams played seven times, we would have a game seven. I would say we're very even. Kyle wins five out of seven. That's not how, that's not how a seven game tournament went. Uh, that's not how a seven game you you would stop if 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 he won four you would stop are you i i i think you're just always going to pick kyle uh -huh. i think that's i think that's how that works his team is just better i i don't know how you see it as that much better. I like, I'm willing to concede it would go to a game seven because the teams are insanely even. There are strengths and weaknesses for sure. But it would, it would go to a game seven. Neither of us killed the other one in this draft. Nah, it would be six to nine. No, the, the offense is, well, I don't actually, it's a good question, Kyle. How many, who has the advantage here? The offense or the defense? Just, just generally. Actually, like if we combined our teams, you want to combine our teams? But you know, we're not doing that. We don't, we don't have time for that. But if we did combine our teams, who's winning, the offense or the defense? Jared taking the easy way out. I, I don't know what that even means. I said our teams are even. I think I would win in game seven. Kyle thinks he would win in game seven. That's that's fine. We each, we each picked our teams. Oh, did Kyle Hardy combine our teams? Oh, this was my, this was my rough draft here. Okay. Uh, I, I disagree. I would definitely take CJ Stroud over Justin Fields. Uh, I would, is JK Dobbins the first running back taken? I mean, I'm not going to disagree with it, but I don't know that you, I agree you know, with you it. Know, 
I um, love I love Lave Trey. Wilson, a, Harrison I'm, Jr. I, I would, love Trey. Really, I love Trey, but for what J.K. did at his career at Ohio State, I, I got to take J.K. now. But I mean, if Trey goes and has a stellar year, maybe. But right now, I, I'd pick I pick J.K. over over Trey. Um. I'm not sure if I'd take Jonah Jackson with all of the interior guys available. I'm not sure if Jonah Jackson's my guy. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Um, Again, this was my rough draft without. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm i definitely taking, I'm not taking JTT. I'm taking, so I'm taking Sawyer and Young. I mean, I took the first two defensive ends. So, you know what my take on that is. I don't think I have Ty Hamilton as my team one. Yeah, I mean, we just disagree on this a lot. No wonder we each think we have the better team. I I got my I got the guys I wanted first, and you got the guys you wanted first. Mm-hmm. Um I love Josh Proctor, but I'm no, absolutely not. See, this this is why we each think we got the better team. If this is who you think the starting 22 are, I disagree with this so much. And in the areas in which I disagree with you plays out in our draft. (laughs) (laughs) This is why we both think we have the better team. Yes. Yes. But I I do think. To answer, to answer your question, like Jonah Jackson was be, good. I just don't know which, if he's one of the five best. Which team would have the better, would have the upper hand offense or defense? It's Austin. Awesome. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta lean on the offense here just a tiny bit. I, I know, I know the defense was, is stellar, has some, has some ridiculous players on that defense side, but man. Like just looking at just especially your your play your playmakers there, with uh, with Olave and Wilson and Marvin Harrison Jr. JSN Ibuka like yeah, but how like, many wide receivers like, can like, you like put on the teams, field at the same teams time? Struggle, teams struggle to 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 match up to them. I I get that, but how many wide receivers? We've seen this with the offense, like with individual offenses play out a lot. Yeah. You have all of these amazing skill players. This is a fun one night gents. See you Esquire. I agree with you. We have all of these toys on the offense, but at the end of the day, I think that's what it is. It's a lot of toys. I think the defensive front destroys the offensive front. At the end of the day, interior wise. Yes. I, th- I think on the edges too, quite frankly. Mm. I think on the edges too. Man, I, I don't, I don't know if I would say destroy though. I don't know if I would say destroy. Petit Fury was really good tackle. Yeah, Paris he was. Johnson Jr. really Excellent. good Excellent. tackle. Like, but here's the thing: how many? I mean. If we start lining up draft picks, like Ohio State has had more success along the defensive line than they've had the offensive line. I mean, let let, let me let me lay this out to you, Kyle, as a piece of evidence. The evidence I'd like to lay out to you is Javante Jean Baptiste. Here's a guy that this is my evidence as to why the why the defense would be better. Javante Jean Baptiste. This is a guy who left Ohio State and still got drafted. Name an offensive lineman at Ohio State who left the team and still got drafted. The defensive line is better and deeper and has been for years, even when the defensive line wasn't at its best. It's a fair point. Because, yeah, the wide receivers that Ohio State has is insane. 
But like we also can put Denzel Burke, Jeff Akuda, Damon Arnett, David Igbenos, and Kalen Downs, Jordan Fuller, jo- uh, Jordan Hancock. We can put all those guys on the field too. And, you know, try our best to neutralize those wide receivers. At the end of the day, the front four along the defensive line are much better than the front five along the offensive line. That is, to me, the only glaring, absolutely glaring advantage on the board, which is why I have to go with the defense. Your Honor, I rest my case. <clears throat> JF when might be using that undesigned a lot. Oh, yeah, I mean, just running for his life, you mean? Yeah. I mean that that that's my. I mean, you know, you know what? You know what also how is really many, funny, Jared. How many you, you, coaches have been fired from Ohio State so. for a lack of recruiting? Specifically, who has been fired from well, Ohio State due to a lack of recruiting? Well, not, not, not just the offensive, not just the offensive line, Jared. Uh, looking at the defense here, we've only we only picked four linebackers. Look at all the linebackers that are still on there. Yeah. <laughs> you, you talk about a position that was lackluster. Yeah. Uh, the past five years. Yep. I think I think the linebacker is. I agree. A lot more than the offensive line. I agree, but it's a lot easier to mask. It is. Bad it is. or middling linebacker play than it is to mask bad or middling offensive line play. I mean, because I mean, we both are running nickels, Kyle. Mm -hmm. We both took a linebacker off the field. Yeah. Because we can find two good linebackers. Maybe I could have, maybe I could put steel chambers on, on there and looking back, maybe, maybe I should have, but, but yeah, I just, I feel more comfortable getting, that depth having like uh, John Baptiste and Cooper in there rather than yeah. getting a third linebacker, which is, I think, fair, especially if, you know, we didn't talk about. I mean, I, I there are five open defensive slots in this draft for a reason. I wasn't locking either of us into a position grouping. I didn't say that you had to have five defensive backs. I didn't say you had to have three linebackers. I didn't even say you had to have two defensive tackles. I tried to keep the defense open. I didn't want Mm -hmm. to say you have to run a four, three, or you have to run a four, two, or you have to run a, you get my point. Yeah. Um, We, the reason why you see the players who got picked and the reason why you see the players who didn't get picked in large part has to do with the fact that, we went nickel. That's it. Yep. And by the way, Malik Harrison, who neither of us took, totally underrated Ohio State player. I just, that needs to be said. I almost picked him. I just ended up grabbing Ty Leak instead. Just a totally different position. Malik Harrison, I think, is a linebacker at Ohio state who does not get the does not get the flowers he should get in my opinion, just underrated Buckeye. That's all. I'm just, I'm I'm comparing who we drafted, who's left there and maybe a name we haven't didn't put on here that got drafted um, in the NFL here. I think the only one that I found here, the only one I that was not on your list here, Jared. I just put one. every drafted player on the list. I do not see this person on here. I s- swear I put defensive every... tackle. Defensive tackle. 
Deshaun Cornell. What, what year was he drafted? 2020. Really? I did miss one. Crap. Yeah. I thought I good. grabbed every drafted player. <laughs> yep. Nope, it's all good. Nah, I feel bad now. Because that was literally like the first thing I did when I was composing the list was look at <laughs> everyone who was drafted, which is a incomplete list, but it was a good starting point, right? Yeah. I'm surprised like I said, I forgot it, it was just the one. I really don't feel um, like I forgot anyone. Wait, 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 wait. There's one more. Sorry, there's one more. No. One more defensive tackle. Unless, yeah, I don't see him. Devon Hamilton. No, he's right here. We we oh, didn't there he pick is. him. Uh, there he is off to the right. Yep. Missed it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Drawn Cage and Teron Vincent were two other defensive tackles who we did not pick. All right. Um, Kyle, I I think that's the end of our episode. Um, yeah. Do you have anything that you would like to talk about in Kyle's Corner? Uh, that I would like to talk about? Well, it is Kyle's corner. Yeah. Um, I, not that I can really Sticking think of. I know the that there's, there's a lot. Bill Davis ruined Myers linebackers. I, I know, yeah, Bill Davis I know, sucked. I know there's a, there's a lot of movement, uh, both basketball and football, when it comes to um, the transfer portal and all that. I don't want to go over that, but uh, yes, these spikes. That, that's actually a good point. The crew. The crew doing crew things, um, both in MLS play and the CONCACAF Cup as well, too. Uh, so we'll, we'll see We'll see how they do Wednesday here when they head on down to Mexico. That's if they, if they can pull that out there, just unprecedented of what any MLS team has ever done in this CONCACAF Massive Cup. indeed. Yes, it would be massive indeed. Yes. Uh, <laughs> No Buckeyes to the Bungles. Well, only four Buckeyes, well, current Buckeyes got drafted. I think there were just as mm -hmm. many or nearly as many former Buckeyes that got drafted so, as got drafted. So here, here's here's what I saw here. Um, for undrafted, Xavier went to the Bills. Yeah. Uh, Steel Chambers to the Lions, Matthew Jones to the Dolphins, and Josh Proctor to the Jaguars. I think that's it. So that's a total of four plus four, eight players. That's just eight players for Ohio State. Yeah, and, and but there were uh, also some former Ohio State players who found homes. Yep. Mentioned, um, yeah, John Baptiste well, was one there. I know I have the list here somewhere. Uh, Ryan Watts got picked to the Steelers. Um, pick 195, Javante Jean-Baptiste, pick 222 to the Commanders. Dallas Gant, uh, unsigned, went to the Vikings. Jalen Gill, unsigned, went to the Chargers. And Craig Young, unsigned, went to the Colts. So, no, it was only two former Buckeyes that got drafted. I inflated okay. that in my head. But next year. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, good, good Lord. There's, there's a lot of... Again, early, early projections. And boy, we may see some records. But yeah, we'll see. I mean, I, I think the ideal scenario is Ohio State wins it all. And then everyone just goes, everyone fucks off to the NFL and then we'll, we'll suck. We'll, we'll suck in 2025. And that's that'll be fine because we'll have won it in 2024. But yeah, there'll, there'll be a massive talent loss after this season if we win it all. And you know what? It'll be worth it. Now At the end of the bust. day, it'll be yeah. worth it. Ten players in the first round? No. No. That's a lot. I mean, you're literally talking about nearly a third of the first round draft picks. That's just insane. That's absolutely Five or six? Insane. Five or six in the first round? I, That's I'm, I'm, possible. I'm not. I, uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not willing to go there yet. Not willing to go there yet. That's fine. All right. That's it, Jared. That is that is all I got. All right. 
that's it. Uh, tonight's ending music is Heart Attack Man, who is from. I was going to say the Columbus area, then I doubted myself. Maybe I think they might be from Mansfield. They might be, might be from Mansfield. I forget where Heart Attack Man is from, uh, but you can look it up for yourself. Uh, you can also just stay right here and listen to the song. Uh, unless you're watching on YouTube, in which case you don't get to hear the song at the end of the show because that's how YouTube works. But there is a link down in the description. And also we have a playlist on our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.thesloopcast.com, where you can hear all of the songs that we that we play on this show in that playlist. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music and, of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Heart Attack Man. <laughs>